Are you a real estate agent creating videos on YouTube, but you're not getting the attraction, engagement, and viewership that you had anticipated when you first started your channel? Well, my friend, you might just be missing out on one very crucial aspect of the content creation process. And that, my friends, is keyword research. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video. So keep on watching. Hi friends, it's your girl Larissa, aka La to the R E double S A. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters like yourself keep it real estate. But more importantly, I show you how to create effective content in your business. And if you are a real estate agent looking to level up your real estate game and you want to start YouTube for real estate, then consider partnering with me here at EXP Realty because that is what I do on the daily. I help my real estate business partners start and launch and sustain their YouTube channels because I got the secret sauce. Because if you know, you know, and if you want to know, I can tell you. Now in this video, we are talking about keywords everywhere, which is a keyword SEO tool. SEO stands for search engine optimization. Now this tool, if you know how to use it properly, will help you optimize and rank your YouTube videos in the YouTube and Google search results. You can go to keywordseverywhere.com and this is a application that you will need to pay for but it is very very affordable now keywords everywhere can be used on sites like google and youtube i primarily only use it for youtube but sometimes google as well and again it's very very affordable if you go up to pricing here the plan that i'm on is the bronze plan which is a hundred thousand credits per year built at 15 dollars canadian annually which is very very cheap now you want to have keywords everywhere installed to your browser in this case i have mine installed on chrome so go ahead and it's going to take you to the chrome web store and just hit add to chrome but right now i already have it installed so this is what it should look like it's a k up here and when you oh, click on that, you should see this panel. Now I turn keywords everywhere on when I'm doing keyword research. When I don't need it, I turn it off. So in this case, if I turn it on, that's what it looks like, but I'll show you what it looks like when we do the keyword research. And as you can see here, I have 90,000 credits left, which is still a lot because again, I only use it when I need it. So in this case, I'm gonna show you what keyword everywhere would look like if you are searching on Google and on YouTube. So with Google, it's going to be a widget on the side after you search something in. So in this case, let's look up cost of living in Portland, Oregon. And as you can see here, we have numbers already populating. This is 4,400 slash month so this is 4400 searches per month and this is really the only metric that i look at i don't really uh, look into these other metrics all that often because i mean i'm not an seo expert i'm just looking for the key words and key phrases and how many times that they are being searched a month so if i go ahead and click on this search term we can see here on the right hand side widgets so these are the keyword everywhere widgets and if we scroll down we can see related keywords so cost of living for a single person in portland oregon 90 searches per month and you can go on and on and on things like that so these are things that people consumers are actually searching in google now looking at this these are great video ideas because people are searching for them might as well create a video related to that topic because people are searching for it. So you're bound to get views that way. So that's a great way to use keyword everywhere to find video ideas. And if you keep scrolling down, we can see other people also search for. So other keyword related topics and phrases as well. Here, cost of living in Oregon versus Colorado, 170 searches per month. Now, again, this is just nice to know what people are searching and keyword everywhere gives you lots of information as to what that is now again i'm not an seo expert i'm just looking for just some basic stats now if we go and copy this over into let's say youtube we can see pretty much the same results because again youtube is owned by google give it a second to populate it's going to populate over here but as you can see here same thing we can see that cost of living in portland oregon is searched 4400 times per month and we can see other channel creators creating content around this specific topic so if you want to outrank somebody r d 
rip off and duplicate but add your own sauce make it better but it's nice to see what other people are doing so that you have an idea right so in this case if we scroll down here we can see most used tags and essentially tags are just your keywords anyways and these are what I would be taking a look at and this is what I would do my research based on because again I just want to see what people are searching and how many times a month they are searching so you want to have it you know a good keyword that is not too much and not too little so you can see here Portland Oregon it's searched 300 thousand times per month versus moving to portland oregon is searched 5400 times per month so if i were you i would create a video based on moving to portland oregon as the keyword and rather than just having portland oregon because i mean it's so hard to rank for that you're not going to rank for that so that's why it's nice to see these numbers so that when you do create content you're creating content that should be seen right because there's no point in creating a video that nobody's gonna watch because nobody's searching for it so that's kind of how i come at this from a youtube content creation perspective are you enjoying this video so far if you are then subscribe because you know i got the vibes and share this video and give this video a thumbs up so i know to make more and between you and me. If you scan this code here, you can get access to all of my free resources and download my free Canva templates. All right, so back to the video. Now, in this case, when I do keyword research, I like to, you know, jot notes down. And essentially what I do is I put all these stats into my Notion dashboard. Now here is a demo template of my content creation dashboard, which houses all of my content from YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all the things. But in this case, this is my YouTube dashboard. And if you're interested in purchasing this Notion template, if you don't want to build it from scratch, then you can find this template in my Etsy shop. I will link it in the cards above and in the description box down below. But typically speaking, because I am creating a video, in this case, we're let's say we're creating a video of the cost of living in Portland, Oregon. Let's say for here, let's say we are, where are we? We, today is November the 21st. Let's say this video that we want to create goes out on December the 6th. So I'm going to add item. In this case, because I've created this Notion dashboard, I've created templates for myself. So I have a YouTube video template that I would go in and populate before I go to film this video. And again, right now we are doing keyword research. So I'm going to rename this card. I'm going to say cost of living in Portland. Oh my goodness. Portland, Oregon. And I'm going to say 2024. And the reason why I say in 2024, even though it's still technically 2023, having that new year in there is going to make your video that a little bit more relevant to the consumer. So there's a little tip for you. So I'm going to open this up. Open that up like this. And this is what my template looks like for YouTube. But we're not going to worry about that. I have other videos on this Notion board here, which I will link in the description box down below. But my key focus right now is keyword research. So in this case, I have video description, SEO. This is where I do my keyword research. And I have this little nifty chart here where I would find those keywords and then jot down what their key their search volume is per month. So I know this is, seems a little bit <laughs> tedious, but trust me, doing this part here is going to help you very significantly. So let's go ahead and fix this up here. So let's move this over here and do that. So now side by side, we have our YouTube search results and we have our Notion dashboard. So let's just do this. So in this case, what I would do, I would just go in here and I would just copy paste that and go this this is search 5400 living in portland that's search 1900 living in portland oregon same thing 1900 moving to portland oregon 5400 cost of living in portland oregon 50 or sorry this is 4400 and then other things here like relocating to Portland Oregon so you can see what I'm doing here I'm just 
just taking note of what keywords and tags are relevant so i would just go down the list i would even go as far to open up some of these videos here because if we open these videos up it's also going to show you another widget on the side here of those keywords and this creator here is using i think we have most of them all used in here so we have all of these keywords already noted here and it's just nice to see what tags these creators are using and even if we take a look at their description let's see what they are using so right here when i take a look at this video how much is it to live in portland oregon this pretty much is his long tail keyword phrase again he has cost of living in portland oregon here and then he's pretty much just rephrasing this keyword in multiple ways within the description and doing that will actually juice up your content which is why this particular video is number one in search results because he has a keyword in his title he has a keyword in his description he's using keywords in his video tags presumably and he's also saying verbally in his videos the cost of living in portland oregon and if you know when you're creating content on youtube and you're filming um, youtube will automatically auto capture your videos and so if youtube hears you saying that it's going to know that that is a keyword so that's pretty much how you want to use keywords everywhere in that sense to do your research now again because let's say that we filled this up as much as we could we would then take these keywords, make sure this keyword is again noted in the title, which is it, which it is cost of living in Portland, Oregon in 2024. This right here is a long tail keyword. That's a yes. And then you would want to also include that in your description down here. So again, this is my, this is my notion template card here. And so that's what would be noted here. And so in this case, if I were to build out a description, essentially what I would be doing is trying to take these keywords and formulate it into a paragraph. And so grammar might be kind of off, but essentially the more keywords and key phrases that you are using, the more juiced up and optimized your video will be. That way, again, when someone is searching for cost of living in Portland, Oregon, your video is going to pop up and it's going to rank because you have properly optimized your content so i hope that makes sense so i'm not going to go fully into detail about what this looks like again if you want to work with me behind the scenes here at exp realty this is exactly what i help my business partners with is making sure that their content is properly optimized and ranking because this from the get-go can be quite confusing but that's why i'm here if you made it to the end of the video then you know what it is you know what to do comment down below hashtag and crew so i know that you are a real one because you made it to the end now i truly hope you give out this keyword everywhere seo tool a try i promise you that if you learn how to properly do keyword research it's going to greatly help you along with your youtube content creation journey because there's no point in putting all this effort into creating content and then not having it being picked up by the algorithm and promoted because no bueno, right? So if you want to learn more about my YouTube planning process when it comes to Notion, consider purchasing my template over here or check out these videos here of how I use Notion in my YouTube planning process because I know you are going to love it. So if you are ready, get ready to click and three, two, one.